Chef Buck here and today I'm going to cook up one of my favorite vegetables, cauliflower. I'm going to make an Asian style salt and pepper type dish. You know like when you go to an Asian restaurant and you get salt and pepper shrimp or the salt and pepper calamari, but I'm not going to fry it, I'm going to bake it. Now for this dish I'm going to use a whole head of cauliflower. I'm actually going to use one a little bit bigger than this. I've already started to break it up. I've already got this washed, but I'll break it down into some smaller pieces. I'm going to use several fresh ingredients for this dish, but the cauliflower and the jalapeno I'm going to break down first so I can get those in the oven and get those starting to cook. Because basically with this dish I want to bake out as much of the moisture as I can. And so my larger vegetables are going to have more moisture in them. And you can definitely use the stemmy stem parts, you just need to cut them down into some smaller bits. But after roasting for a little bit in the oven, they'll be quite palatable because we're going to roast them for quite a little bit. Man, this is a lot of cauliflower, but that's all right because this dish is really going to cook down. So the next ingredient I'm going to prep is some jalapeno pepper. If you don't like jalapenos, then you need to uh, start to like them. You need to start to like them, buddy. You know, if you don't like hot, maybe this isn't the dish for you. But since we are going to be baking this in the oven for a little bit, you know, it's going to uh, take some of the bite out of it. So if you're on the fence about jalapenos, go ahead and give them a try. I really think it makes this dish. If you make this dish without the jalapeno, let me know what you think. I've never made it without the jalapeno, and I have no desire to try to. But I am going to go ahead and get most of the seeds out of here. But if some of the seeds sneak into the dish, that's alrighty. If the jalapeno makes you nervous, instead of two jalapenos, just use one. Now I'll go ahead and add my jalapeno in with my cauliflower. Now the last thing I'm going to add is some green onions. And I got like six green onions here. I'm just going to chop up the bottoms and throw the bottom half of the green onions in here. And I'll save the top to add to my dish later. Now this bowl is awful crowded and I'm going to make a mess with this. So I'm just going to add it into this bigger pot. That way I can mix my ingredients up with oil and not make as big a mess. So I'm taking a little bit of olive oil. Boom, boom, boom. And I just want to get these veggies lightly coated with oil. So we'll stir them around, get olive oil mixed all over these ingredients. It's salt and pepper cauliflower, and that's really all I'm going to put in there. Is some salt and some pepper. Now I wish I had some fresh ground black pepper, but I don't. But this will do. I'm going to get my seasonings all over my cauliflower. And what's really going to bring flavor to this dish is the garlic and the jalapeno and the cilantro. So I don't need a lot of other seasonings. And then I'll spread it out on a baking sheet. Now I'm going to use parchment paper. If you wanted to, you could just lightly spray your pan. But we're going to be adding cilantro in a little bit. And that really does much better on parchment paper for this dish. So now I'll take my cauliflower, my onions and peppers, and I'll get these spread out in one layer. And this is really crowded but this is the biggest pan I've got. If you've got a bigger one, you know, you want to have it spread out a little bit better than I've got here. You know, this dish is definitely going to shrink down. So even though we're going to end up putting even more stuff in here, you know, by the end of the cooking process, it's going to have cooked down considerably. So now I'm going to slide this in the oven and let it get started. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees. So I'll go ahead and let those get started while I prep up these other ingredients. I'm going to start with my cilantro. I washed it earlier in the day so it's had time to dry out. Now I want to give my cilantro a good chop. I'm using the leaves, I'm using the stems, I'm using every part of the cilantro bunch. And this is really the key to this dish. If you don't like cilantro, then I wouldn't even fool with this recipe. But if you like cilantro and you've never tried it like this, it's really fantastic. It adds so much flavor. Now I'm not going to oil up these veggies. I'm just going to add it to the pot where I had the cauliflower before and I'll just use the residual oil that's in the pot. Now I'm going to take my green onion tops and give those a little choppy chop. I'll throw those in my pot. And the last thing I'm going to add is some garlic. And I've got like a dozen cloves here. And it's the garlic and the cilantro that are really going to add the most flavor to this dish. I'll give the garlic a rough chop. And that's about what I'm looking for, some nice chunky chunks. This here will go into my pot with my cilantro and green onions. And I'll stir it around so some of that residual olive oil will get on here. But I don't want to add any more olive oil to it because I don't want to soak these ingredients in oil. Now my cauliflower is going to roast away for a little bit and then I'll add this. But I'm going to go ahead and take just a handful of this 
and just set it aside. I'm going to reserve it as a garnish because this stuff here is really going to cook down in the oven and it's really going to darken. So having that nice splash of color to add later will make the dish a lot prettier. Uh, but I'll let my cauliflower cook away for a little bit longer and then we'll add this in just a little bit. Alrighty, so my cauliflower has been roasting undisturbed for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of a stir. You can see the steam coming off of these veggies because that moisture is cooking out of there. That's why you don't want them to crowd too much because you want to cook all that water out of there as much as you can. Give it a good head start in the roasting process before we add these other ingredients. Spread our veggies back out and then they'll go right back in the oven. Now since there's a lot of cauliflower in there, I'll probably let it roast away for 15 more minutes before I add these other ingredients. Now I've had this roasting for a good long while. It's starting to get some nice color on there. It's still steaming quite a little bit. Alright, so let me stir this stuff around. And I've still got quite a little bit of moisture in here. So I'll go ahead and spoon out all of my cilantro and green onion and garlic. And I'll get it mixed up here with my cauliflower. Now you want to do it in two stages like this because it's definitely going to take longer for your cauliflower to cook out its moisture before these other ingredients will. It won't take nearly as much time for this cilantro to cook down. And the cilantro is really going to darken up. So now I'm going to go ahead and return this to the oven and I'll give it an occasional stir just like I did with the cauliflower. Alrighty, we'll do an action cam shot here. Do some uh, ninjutsu there. Now I've taken this out one time and given it a turn. So this is the second turn I've given it. I've still got some stemmy stem parts of cilantro. So I am going to put it back in the oven. But as you can see, that cilantro has really cooked down to almost nothing. It pretty much disappears. That's why you need a whole bunch. Don't try to skimp on the cilantro. Because you saw I had such a huge amount of cilantro and it's almost all completely disappeared but it adds such a terrific flavor. I can't tell you, you're just gonna have to try it. But I'm gonna give it one more good stir and then I'll let it go one final time in the oven, maybe for five or 10 more minutes. The more moisture you get out of these ingredients, the more flavor you're leaving behind. Now you're getting rid of that water and just leaving flavor, nice roasted veggie flavor. And this is spreading out very easily because I've got this parchment paper on here. Without the parchment paper, you know, this cilantro can really stick and burn to the pan and you lose a lot of that flavor. Because cilantro is very delicate in the oven. Alrighty, this will be the last go round. I did so well with my ninjutsu before, I'm going to just do it again here. Oh. Now this, I think, is done. Now I could cook out a little bit more moisture, but I think that's plenty. It is not an overly pretty dish. That cilantro really darkens and loses a lot of its vibrancy, which is why it's good to set aside a little bit of the fresh cilantro so that you could just kind of pepper it in there a little bit before you serve it. So that way it'll have a nice color, but you know, it'll still have that nice roasted cilantro flavor. It is stunning how good this is. I could just stay right here and eat this whole pan. And it wouldn't even be bad for me. I mean, it's a head of cauliflower. It's a dozen cloves of garlic. I, I'd be a superhero by the time I finish this. Well, I'm not that much of a superhero because I'm having trouble standing up. Well, I stood here, just about ate that whole pan of stuff. That's how good it is. You know, if you want to take a look at this recipe, you know, I'll have it written down below. Or you can go over to MyFoodChannel.com and you can print out all the recipes over there. Hit the uh, bells and whistles and do the thumbs and the bums and the whatnot. And I'll see you next weekend.